Hi folks and welcome to the EGXW Info Group of Twitter Accounts YouTube channel. Um, do us a favour, watch this video in 1080p because we're dealing with my screen and small bits of text. So this is a follow-up video from our flight tracking services video and we're here today for a non-scientific comparison fight. We all love a fight, don't we? A fight between 360 radar, Freedar and ADSB exchange and um, just see in real world terms what's tracking on each so a bit of a comparison so we'll have a look through so pop to Dundee we have a little grob tutor working in Dundee and we have it on 360 Freedar but not ADSB exchange don't know if it comes through in their military filters so we'll pop a bit further south all three have that a400 then we'll go further south oh, we've got a lot going on in near uh, DTV so let's have a look at the zodiacs popping out so zodiacs again they may slip through the military filter on ADSB exchange we've got mid the military filter is on on all three of these um, so not bad coverage of the zodiacs um, so drop in here and we've got the Apache um, Machete 2 is it and um, we're hoping for a call sign from it and then we've got both shadows there okay and uh, we've got three Hawks flying together here uh, ADSB exchange are doing a good job so our 360 radar Oh, Freedar struggling a bit, only shooting two of the three Hawks. Okay. So, dive down. Have we got anything kicking off in Lincolnshire? Uh, Collins will be on nights this week. So, let's bring us all three of us duck down to Lincolnshire. And, oh, 360 Radar are doing quite a good job here of getting the lower down stuff, the uh, Grob Tutors and the Phenoms operating here. Unfortunately Freedar have only got two Phenoms um, working and once has dropped off as well in the Cromwell circuit. And I'm not quite sure what's going on here but we've got four on ADSB exchange. Right. East Anglia, let's have a look. We've got a couple of patches working in East Anglia at the minute. Oh, possibly three. Okay, so oh yes, hidden under there. So these two flying together. Unfortunately, nothing from Freedar for these. But the two flying together do appear on ADSB Exchange and 360 radar. Uh, Watersham have got one in the circuit by the looks of it. Um, it's possibly dropped off recently, so it could be that the one of the things these tracking services can do is set the times where these expire um, and if they're not moving 360 radar will probably kick them off the map within a minute if they haven't got a valid signal where well, one of the things these two could do and I'm not saying they do do it but they could leave they could extend those times so they could leave an aircraft on the map for five minutes say after the last signal was received and it would therefore appear to the untrained eye that they're tracking more aircraft than the opposition okay as you can see it just dropped off there on Freedar 2 um, well he is moving a little, little tiny bit okay so just bear that in mind um, always check that the aircraft are moving and still tracking and they're not just statically sat there for the next hour making the traffic service look good to the untrained eye anything over London? no we've got the VIP uh, helicopter from North on these two but not on Freedar and again like I say this is real world this is not scientific we're just going on and having a look so the Puma, uh, Freedar struggling with the Puma um, but all three have the Apache 
all three have the Chinook. Recon 2 1. All three have Recon 2 1 as well. There now. Okay. Anything down here today? Doesn't look like it. Oh. We've got one contact on 360 radar. Nothing on free dial there. And nothing on Adrian's Big Exchange. We had some hawks a little while ago at Area Valley, so let's have a look at the hawks. So we have a gaggle. What's the collective noun for a group of aircraft? A gaggle? Probably a formation. No. Well, we don't know they're in formation, do we? Um, okay, so these three are on ADSB exchange on 360 radar, but Frida is struggling with them. Okay. And then we have some more Hawks, got another two just south of Landed No. Landed No. Uh, no, I'm not going to murder the uh, Welsh accent, Welsh language live on air. Get myself into trouble with the Welsh. Hello, all our Welsh followers. Um, so, again, 360 and ADSB Exchange have those two Hawks, but Frida is struggling. Helicopters at Shawbury. Oh, Frida is doing a very good job at Shawbury. Look, I've obviously got a receiver near Shawbury, and ADSB Exchange isn't doing too bad a job, too. So, 360 radar struggling at Shawbury. So, let us know if you need, live near Shawbury and have a receiver. Again, on our first video, I really would encourage you to watch it. That goes into a bit of a deeper dive on tracking services, some of the technicalities about how they work and how they don't work. And can, um, it doesn't directly compare the three, um, but it certainly gives you a good idea. Oh, we have a typhoon just popped up from Coningsby, and ADSB Exchange have got it. 360 radar, I've got it. Frida hasn't got it. I might just dwell here for a minute, see if Frida picks it up when it gets a little bit higher. And I will just say, as I said in my first video, these rely on a network of ground stations. Most military aircraft are mode S, they need five or more receivers to be receiving the same aircraft. Oh, that typhoon has popped up on Frida now too. Yep, so they they need five or more receivers to receive the aircraft before a position can be triangulated using complicated maths. So coverage in some areas will be better than other areas it, on these different trackers. It is not the same coverage all across the country. Some will do better in areas than others. But this is a real world dive into exactly what they're doing at five o'clock on a Thursday evening um, so you guys can get an accurate idea of how these three traffic uh, these tracking services compare to one another in a real world comparison so you can choose because with 360 radar it's about 22 quid a year in my opinion it's well worth it that's what we endorse because we think it's the best overall service but these three alternatives are there so it's entirely up to you so I hope you found the video informative if you haven't watched the first one go back and watch the first one I really do recommend it if you've got any questions or comments um, put them below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can and I'll leave links to these in the descriptions Hope everyone's well, thank you for watching and we will see you next time, bye bye.